going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm super excited to bring you guys some pretty cool information. So uh, recently Sony revealed a video kind of showcasing their new DualShock 4 controller. It's a controller that's going to be coming with all the PS4 consoles and, and it's kind of like a trailer for the controller if you can imagine that. I mean it's, uh, it's a bunch of devs kind of talking about the controller, revealing some new images and, and kind of talking about all the features that it comes with. So I found this pretty interesting. It's got some stuff we haven't heard about before and surprisingly this video isn't getting much traction. There's like two videos of it uploaded on YouTube and it's got maybe 25,000 views total. So I wanted to upload it here for you guys, let you guys learn all about this new PS4 controller. And uh, here we go, enjoy. So the new controller truly is a really amazing piece of kit because it has a lot of simple inputs, but when we combine them together, it becomes really, really rich. We talked with a lot of developers on what they really want and what they think is missing in the DualShock 3, that could be a great feature. One of PlayStation's greatest assets is all the groups Media Molecule, Naughty Dog, Santa Monica Studios, Sucker Punch, the list goes on and on. And we could actually get their input in terms of what this controller should be and what we should add to make something that's, that's truly evolutionary. Everything's been tuned. The feel of the analog sticks, the sensitivity of both different types of triggers. And in addition to that, there have been all these features added to it without compromising the basic feel of the DualShock. So for example, the first thing that you notice is the light bar at the front. And this light bar has several functions. We can track the position of this controller with multiple folks in the room. It's very easy for the PS4 to identify who's who, who's holding which controller. If the system sees that for some reason we've swapped places or I've passed the controller to someone, it can automatically adjust the ordering of the split screen so that it makes sense to everyone. It seems like a minor thing, but it actually really helps the, the flow of the game and just helps the intuitiveness of the whole console. Most important, arguably, is this touchpad on the top of the controller. The touchpad is multi-touch, and you're able to have touch interactions that are very comfortable to play, so you can use your thumb or, or you could be flicking, flicking things out. And then you add the fact that there's a speaker on the controller. That adds a lot of dynamic sound when you are in a shooter, for example, and you've got uh, bullets whizzing by you. Certain events will take place inside the TV and the sound will come out of the speaker, but more personal or intimate events will come out from the controller. The new big feature that we've, we have on this controller is the appearance of the share button. The share button allows you to record any gameplay uh, and create a video or a screenshot and share it instantly. Whenever they want to share an uh, epic moment, they can just press that button. Before you had to make a video, edit the video, upload the video, and now we're going to make this so easy for people to just like press the share button and off it goes. When you combine all of these features together, the controller really comes to life. All right, so there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've got a bunch of great videos coming soon. Make sure you check out the other two on screen right here. Up top is some new Call of Duty Ghosts info, which is the next Call of Duty game coming out later this year. And down low is a new series that I just started that, uh, that I think you guys might enjoy. So check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.